The Yajurveda Sanskrit, Yajurveda Yajurveda, from Yaj meaning worship, and Veda meaning knowledge, is the Veda primarily of prose mantras for worship rituals. An ancient Vedic Sanskrit text, it is a compilation of ritual offering formulas that were said by a priest while an individual performed ritual actions such as those before the Yajna fire. Yajurveda is one of the four Vedas, and one of the scriptures of Hinduism. The exact century of Yajurveda's composition is unknown, and estimated by scholars to be around 1200 to 1000 BCE. Contemporaneous with Samaveda and Atharvaveda, the Yajurveda is broadly grouped into two the black or dark Krishna Yajurveda and the white or bright Shukla Yajurveda. The term black implies the unarranged, unclear, motley collection of verses in Yajurveda, in contrast to the white, which implies the well-arranged, clear Yajurveda. The black Yajurveda has survived in four recensions, while two recensions of white Yajurveda have survived into the modern times. The earliest and most ancient layer of Yajurveda Samhita includes about 1,875 verses, that are distinct yet borrow and build upon the foundation of verses in Rigveda. The middle layer includes the Satipatha Brahmana, one of the largest Brahmana texts in the Vedic collection. The youngest layer of Yajurveda text includes the largest collection of primary Upanishads, influential to various schools of Hindu philosophy. These include the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, the Isha Upanishad, the Taittiriya Upanishad, the Katha Upanishad, the Shvetashvatara Upanishad and the Maitri Upanishad. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> Yajurveda is a compound Sanskrit word, composed of yajus, yajus and veda. veda. Monier Williams translates yajus as, "...religious reverence, veneration, worship, sacrifice, a sacrificial prayer, formula, particularly mantras muttered in a peculiar manner at a sacrifice." Veda means, "...knowledge." Johnson states yajus means, "...mostly prose formulae or mantras, contained in the Yajurveda, which are muttered." Michael Witzel interprets Yajurveda to mean a knowledge text of prose mantras used in Vedic rituals. Ralph Griffith interprets the name to mean knowledge of sacrifice or sacrificial texts and formulas. Carl Olson states that Yajurveda is a text of mantras sacred formulas that are repeated and used in rituals. Topic <laughs> text Topic. Recensions The Yajurveda text includes Shukla Yajurveda of which about 16 recensions are known, while the Krishna Yajurveda may have had as many as 86 recensions. Only two recensions of the Shukla Yajurveda have survived, Madhyandina and Kanva, and others are known by name only because they are mentioned in other texts. These two recensions are nearly the same, except for a few differences. In contrast to Shukla Yajurveda, the four surviving recensions of Krishna Yajurveda are very different versions. <laughs> Shukla Yajurveda The Samhita in the Shukla Yajurveda is called the Vajasani Samhita. The name Vajasani is derived from Vajasaneya, patronymic of sage Yajnavalka, and the founder of the Vajasani branch. There are two nearly identical surviving recensions of the Vajasani Samhita vs. Vajasani Madhyandina and Vajasani Kanva. The lost recensions of White Yajurveda, mentioned in other texts of ancient India, include Jabala, Bodhya, Sepei, Tapaniya, Kapola, Pandravatsa, Avati, Paramavadika, Parasara, Vainya, Vaidheya, Katyayana and Vijayavapa. There are four surviving recensions of the Krishna Yajurveda, Taittiriya Samhita, Maitrayani Samhita, Katha Samhita and Kapisthala Samhita. A total of 86 recensions are mentioned to exist in Vayu Purana, however vast majority of them are believed to be lost. The Katha school is referred to as a sub-school of Karakas wanderers in some ancient texts of India, because they did their scholarship as they wandered from place to place. The best known and best preserved of these recensions is the Taittiriya Samhita. 
Some attribute it to Tidiri, a pupil of Yaska and mentioned by Panini. The text is associated with the Taittiriya school of the Yajurveda, and attributed to the pupils of sage Tidiri literally, partridge birds. The Maitrayani Samhita is the oldest Yajurveda Samhita that has survived, and it differs largely in content from the Taittiriyas, as well as in some different arrangement of chapters, but is much more detailed. The Kathaka Samhita or the Karaka Katha Samhita, according to tradition was compiled by Katha, a disciple of Vaisampayana. Like the Maitrayani Samhita, it offers much more detailed discussion of some rituals than the younger Taittiriya Samhita that frequently summarizes such accounts. The Kapisthala Samhita or the Kapisthala Katha Samhita, named after the sage Kapisthala is extant only in some large fragments and edited without accent marks. This text is practically a variant of the Kathaka Samhita. Organization. Each regional edition recension of Yajurveda had Samhita, Brahmana, Aranyakas, Upanishads as part of the text, with Shraddhasutras, Gryasutras and Pratishakya attached to the text. In Shukla Yajurveda, the text organization is same for both Madhendina and Kanva Shakas. The texts attached to Shukla Yajurveda include the Katyayana Shraddhasutra, Paraskara Gryasutra and Shukla Yajurveda Pratishakya. In Krishna Yajurveda, each of the recensions has or had their Brahmana text mixed into the Samhita text, thus creating a motley of the prose and verses, and making it unclear, disorganized. <laughs> Dating and historical context The core text of the Yajurveda falls within the classical mantra period of Vedic Sanskrit at the end of the second millennium BCE, younger than the Rigveda, and roughly contemporary with the Atharvaveda, the Rigvedic Kilani, and the Samaveda. The scholarly consensus dates the bulk of the Yajurveda and Atharvaveda hymns to the early Indian Iron Age, c. 1200 or 1000 BC, corresponding to the early Kuru kingdom, the Vedas are notoriously hard to date accurately as they are compilations and were traditionally preserved through oral tradition leaving virtually no archaeological evidence. Scholars such as Georg Feuerstein and others suggest that the dates given to most of these texts is far too late. Contents <laughs> <laughs> Samhitas The Vajasani Samhita has 40 chapters or adayas, containing the formulas used with the following rituals Structure of the mantras The various ritual mantras in the Yajurveda Samhitas are typically set in a meter, and call on Vedic deities such as the Savita Sun, Indra, Agni, Prajapati, Rudra and others. The Taittiriya Samhita in Book 4, for example, includes the following verses for the Agnakayana ritual recitation abridged. <laughs> Satipatha Brahmana The title Satipatha Brahmana means, Brahmana of the Hundred Paths. It is one of the largest Brahmana texts that has survived. It includes, states Stahl, a veritable encyclopedia of meandering opinions on ritual and other matters." The Satipatha Brahmana was translated by Egeling in late 19th century, reprinted often and has been well read because of the translation. However, it has been misinterpreted and misused, states Stahl, because "...it contains enough material to support any theory." Egeling, the first translator of Satipatha Brahmana called it "...flimsy symbolism rather than serious reasoning." Similar to speculative vaporings found in the Christian and non Christian variety of Gnosticism. <inaudible> Upanishads The Yajurveda has six primary Upanishads embedded within it. <inaudible> Brihadaranyaka Upanishad The Brihadaranyaka Upanishad is found in the White Yajurveda. It is one of the Mukya Upanishads, and among the largest and oldest as well tilde 700 BCE. It is a key scripture of Hinduism that has influenced all schools of Hindu philosophy. 
The text is a treatise on Atman soul, self, with passages on metaphysics, ethics and a yearning for knowledge that influenced various Indian religions, ancient and medieval scholars. The Brihadaranyaka Upanishad is among the earliest extensive discussions of the Hindu concept of dharma, karma and moksha liberation from sorrow, freedom, emancipation, self-realization. Paul Dusan calls it, "...unique in its richness and warmth of presentation." with profoundness that retains its full worth in modern times. Max Muller illustrated its style as follows. <inaudible> Isha Upanishad The Isha Upanishad is found in the White Yajurveda. It is one of the shortest Upanishads, embedded as the final chapter of the Shukla Yajurveda. A key scripture of the Vedanta sub-schools of Hinduism, its name is derived from hidden in the Lord self. The Isha Upanishad discusses the Atman soul, self theory of Hinduism, and is referenced by both Dvaita dualism and Advaita sub-schools of Vedanta. It is classified as a poetic Upanishad, along with Kena, Katha, Svetasvatara and Mandaka Upanishads. Taittiriya Upanishad The Taittiriya Upanishad is found in the Black Yajurveda. It is the 7th, 8th and 9th chapters of Taittiriya Aranyaka, which are also called, respectively, the Sicha Valley, the Ananda Valley and the Brigu Valley. The Taittiriya Upanishad includes verses that are partly prayers and benedictions, partly instruction on phonetics and praxis, partly advice on ethics and morals given to graduating students from ancient Vedic Gurukul schools, partly a treatise on allegory, and partly philosophical instruction. The text offers a view of education system in ancient India. It also includes sections on ethics and invocation for one's personal development. Max Muller translates the text's tenth Anuvaka, for example, as an affirmation of one's self as a capable, empowered blissful being. The tenth Anuvaka asserts, I am he who shakes the tree. I am glorious like the top of a mountain. I, whose pure light of knowledge has risen, am that which is truly immortal, as it resides in the sun. I soul, self, am the treasure, wise, immortal, imperishable. This is the teaching of the Veda, by sage Trisanku. Katha Upanishad The Katha Upanishad is found in the Black Yajurveda. The Upanishad is the legendary story of a little boy, Nashikita, the son of sage Vijayasravasa, who meets Yama, the Indian deity of death. Their conversation evolves to a discussion of the nature of man, knowledge, atman, soul, self, and moksha, liberation. The Kathaka Upanishad is an important ancient Sanskrit corpus of the Vedanta sub-schools. It asserts that atman, soul, self, exists. Teaches the precept, seek self-knowledge, which is highest bliss, and expounds on this premise like the other primary Upanishads of Hinduism. The detailed teachings of Katha Upanishad have been variously interpreted, as Dvaita dualistic and as Advaita non -dualistic. .The Katha Upanishad found in the Yajurveda is among the most widely studied Upanishads. Philosophers such as Arthur Schopenhauer praised it, Edwin Arnold rendered it in verse as, "...the secret of death." And Ralph Waldo Emerson credited Katha Upanishad for the central story at the end of his essay Immortality, as well as his poem, Brahma. Shvetashvatara Upanishad The Shvetashvatara Upanishad is found in the Black Yajurveda. The text opens with metaphysical questions about the primal cause of all existence, its origin, its end, and what role if any did time, nature, necessity, chance, the spirit had as primal cause. It then develops its answer, concluding that the universal soul exists in every individual, it expresses itself in every creature, everything in the world is a projection of it, and that there is oneness, a unity of souls in one and only self." The Shvetashvatara Upanishad is notable for its discussion of the concept of personal god, Ishvara, and suggesting it to be a path to one's own highest self. The text is also notable for its multiple mentions of both Rudra and Shiva, along with other Vedic deities, and of crystallization of Shiva as a central theme. Maitrayaniya Upanishad 
The Maitrayaniya Upanishad, also known as the Maitri Upanishad, is found in the Black Yajurveda. It consists of seven prapathakas lessons. The first prapathaka is introductory, the next three are structured in a question-answer style and discuss metaphysical questions relating to Atman self, soul, while the fifth to seventh prapathaka are supplements. However, several manuscripts discovered in different parts of India contain lesser number of prapathakas, with a Telugu language version showing just four. The common kernel of the Maitri Upanishad across different recensions, states Max Muller, is a reverence for soul, that can be summarized in a few words as, Man is the self, the immortal, the fearless, the Brahman. The Maitrayaniya Upanishad is notable for its references to theories also found in Buddhism, elements of the Samkhya and Yoga schools of Hinduism, as well as the Ashrama system. Shraudasutras The Yajurveda had Shraudasutras and Gryasutras attached to it, from fifteen schools, Apastamba, Agastya, Agnavshyaka, Bhadayana, Bharadvaja, Hiranyakeshi, Kaundinya, Kusadaka, Katyayana, Lokaksita, Madhyamadina, Panka Kathaka, Satyasada, Sakala, Sandilya, Vihanasa, and Vidula. Of these nine have survived, along with portions of Kaundinya. Manuscripts and translations Most surviving manuscripts and recensions of Yajurveda's Samhitas, Aranyakas and Brahmanas remain untranslated into Western languages. The two reliable translations are from British India colonial era, and have been widely studied. These are A. B. Keith's translation of Taittiriya Samhita of the Black Yajurveda, and Juliu Egeling's translation of Satipatha Brahmana of the White Yajurveda. Ralph Griffith published an early translation of White Yajurveda Samhita. However, Fritz Stahl has questioned his translations and considers them fantasies and best discarded. Devi Chand published a reinterpreted translation of Yajurveda in 1965, reprinted as third edition in 1980, wherein the translation incorporated Dayananda Saraswati's monotheistic interpretations of the Vedic text, and the translation liberally adds, O Lord, and the Creator, to various verses, unlike other translators. <laughs> forgery. In 18th century, French Jesuits published Isorvedam, claiming it to be a translation of a recension of the Yajurveda. The Isorveda was studied by Voltaire, and later declared a forgery, representing Jesuit ideas to Indians as a Vedic school. Significance <inaudible> 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 The text is a useful source of information about the agriculture, economic and social life during the Vedic era. The verses, for example, list the types of crops considered important in ancient India. See also References books Topic. Further reading Ralph Thomas Hodgkin Griffith, The Texts of the White Yajurveda. Translated with a Popular Commentary 1899. Devi Chand, The Yajurveda. Sanskrit text with English translation. Third edition 1980. The Sanhita of the Black Yajurveda with the Commentary of Madhava Acharya, Calcutta BIBL. Indica, 10 volumes, 1854–1899 Kumar, Pushpendra, Taittiriya Brahmanam Krsnam Yajurveda, 3 vols, Delhi 1998. <laughs> <laughs> External links Read Yajurveda in Hindi by Amaster G. Play full Yajurveda MP3s the Texts of the White Yajurveda Ralph Griffith Translation 1899. The Yajur Veda, Taittiriya Sanhita A. B. Keith Translation 1914. A Vedic Concordance includes Yajur Veda, Updated Edition, Harvard University, Bloomfield's Old Edition 
The Taittiriya Sanhita of the Black Yajurveda, Ramanarayana Vidyaratna, Maheshachandra Nayayaratna, Satavrata Samasrami, Titus Text Sanskrit Text of Vajasani Samhita, Dai Taittiriya Samhita 1871, Sanskrit Web Sanskrit Texts of Taittiriya Samhita, Brahmana, Aranyaka, Ekagnakanda, etc., with English translations of the Taittiriya Samhita. <laughs> <laughs>